It's finished Yeovil Town 1, Altrincham 1 at Hewish Park this evening. Phil Parkinson, the Altrincham manager, joins us. Phil, let's let's start at the end. Uh, the, the, the penalty, was it a penalty and should James Jones have been sent off? If the referee deems it a deliberate handball, then it's a sending off. James has said, I think he has his arm, uh, unfortunately, so... It is what it is. We're, we're, we're in the hands of the referee there, whether it's deliberate or not. So I'll just have to look at the fine detail of the rule on that and, and watch it back. I'm not 100% sure James thinks it's, it's he's saying it's not deliberate. But again, when, you, when your body's in motion, it can look deliberate or not. It's such a difficult one. Everybody, you see it on the Premiership, don't you, match today? People debating these, these tight things when it's so close in the box as well, close proximity contacts. It's very difficult and listen, it was coming as well. They were gonna it looked like they were gonna score a goal second half. We couldn't string a pass together, so they probably got what they deserved in the end in terms of a draw. But yeah, bitterly disappointing. After such a very good first half performance, so uh, we didn't really get going at all in the second half. And that's understandable. It's such a long journey here. All the, all the players in on all the t in all the teams in this league, I think, are, are tired at this stage of the season, particularly when it's Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. But uh, got to give credit to Yeovil; they did well. Second half, they did. I thought we were well on top and should have been out of sight in the first half. Some of the chances, but they defended like the lives depend on it. I think they've just heard tonight that there's been a takeover, so maybe it's got the tails up a little bit, playing for something. Um, and it's a great club, Yeovil, and I, I really hope they survive as much as I hate the long trip. It's a great stadium to come to. They have really good fans, um, and I really hope they manage to do it. But um, it's it's bitterly disappointing on the first half display where I thought we should have been two, three ahead. Um, and then it's we put the game to bed then. We're not under that probably sustained pressure because they've got something to play for. And uh, like I said, second half, whatever I think of the first half, um, we weren't good enough on the ball to retain it. And then you just felt that goal was going to come. But I, I didn't see where it was going to come. It was just going to be a scrappy goal like it was. And, and that's what they got in the end. Well, some really good individual performances. And as a, t as a team, I thought we defended uh, very well. There were a lot of bodies on, on the line in the, in the uh, second half. You, you've, you've got to be proud of the effort, if not perhaps the performance. Absolutely. No, no listen, performance is judged in different ways. So, obviously, we, we, for us to do well, we need to retain the ball and have passages of play. And we did that in the first half. Not brilliantly, but we did it quite well, well enough to, to create chances. But... Um, one of, what we've got to remember here is we're a very, well, if not the youngest team in the league. So where you're saying about performance off the ball, I thought they were superb and to keep the discipline, the shape, we, we could have lost that game easily in the end with, with James going off. We, we uh, amended the shape quickly, yet we had to soak the pressure up. Um, but there weren't any clear-cut chances where they were shots from distance or crosses into the box and we've got to defend that. But unfortunately now we'll potentially lose James and... We've got to hope that Miles is right on. We have to bring somebody in it very, very quickly. Yeah, after a period where we've uh, we've had a really steady uh, back seven, really the goalkeeper, back four, and and the the middle two, um, we've got one or two challenges now in terms of uh, in terms of personnel with injuries, and that's to be expected. We always knew it was going to happen. It was a crucial while we play well, we get the points we do, and and to come here as well. I mean, as much as it feels like we've had three points grappled away from us we haven't it was a fair result in the end we had the first half they had the second half um, and any point on the road is a great point I felt we should have had three at our place against these so as long as we can keep picking them points up on the road it'll be a, it could go a long way for us to to finish in a higher position than we did last season and getting more points so that that's still my sole objective and obviously to continue in the cup competitions but we'll, we'll it will be against adversity because at some point we were going to get injuries, we were going to get illness, we were going to get people, particularly in the back line, that weren't going to be able to get to the end of the season. And it's hit us now with Miles and now James, so we're going to have to be really shrewd with what we do.